students uh, like uh, today we'll be discussing on the various methods for, used for the cryo preservation in usually in the cell and tissue culture the cells weak culture in the in vitro conditions usually will be stored till until use so cryo preservation is the one uh, it can be used for the different cells tissues or um, so it will be like uh, preserved at the very low temperature so all the metabolic activities can be like you know stopped and uh, cells will be viable for longer duration until we use it so cryopreservation is preserving the cell tissue other biological samples by cooling to sub zero temperatures that is below uh, zero degree centigrade mm -hmm. usually we take it like uh, the medium that is liquid nitrogen Was, uh, which gives uh, one minus 196 degree centigrade. So cryo preservation is the all type all biological activities. So we can reduce the uh, cell damage or death. So we can maintain the viability and we can preserve their like functionality for longer duration. The principle of uh, cryo preservation is. Uh, A preservation is that uh, cooling and freezing. Uh, there are different steps. Controlling the cool biological samples are cooled at a controlled rate. So pre uh, it prevents uh, the crystal formation. If the ice crystal forms inside the cell, it damages the cell. So this uh, we see that. Uh, a no, crystal should not be formed during the reducing the temperature that is during the cooling to from room temperature to the minus 196 degree centigrade so that is the one uh, usually what happens uh, freezing point depression the usually we use to protect the uh, the cell and not to form the crystals we add the cryo protective agents we call it as cps so that is lower the freezing point of the water inside and reduce the risk of ice crystals which may cause the da mechanical damage to the cell the usually different type of cps are uh, there like uh, most commonly used includes on uh, dimethyl sulfoxide dmso glycerol and uh, ethylene glycol these agents penetrate the cells and protect them from uh, formation of the ice ice crystals so so cpa usually replace the water and stabilize the different uh, contents of the uh, cell and uh, and also reduce the formation of ice during the freezing process so usually what happens is while we cool it uh, we re the cell is very rich to a like you know a, a technique is called vitrification vitrification is that you are to cooling the cells to a at a rate so crystals will not form but uh, they will be like you know forming like a like a solid state uh, like glass like appearance so, Uh, usually, high concentrations of CPS are required to achieve this thing for rapid cooling. It is usually happens rapid cooling, preventing the formation of ice crystals. So, long term storage. Once we freeze, uh, the samples can be stored at the low temperature, that is in the liquid nitrogen, whose liquid nitrogen temperature is one minus one ninety six degrees centigrade. So, at at this temperature, uh, no metabolic and cellular process will be like carried out by this cell. Whenever we require the cells to be used, we can take it out from the liquid nitrogen uh, oil or from the container, and we can go for like you know rapidly. We have to bring it to the room temperature. So, rapid drying is mostly done. To minimize uh, again crystal formation during this warming process, that is from minus 196 to the room temperature. So this is usually we take the help of a warm water bath, uh, which will maintain the required temperature where we will place our cells.
uh, after bringing to the room temperature we have to remove that is uh, cryopreservative preservative agents we used so the cells will not be toxic to that and we can use the cells for the normal uh, for the process so it is then uh, usually done by gradually diluting and removing that uh, uh, cryopreservative agents and uh, that is so the various methods is slow freezing so that is generally reduce the temperature usually we do that cooling at the rate of 1 degree centigrade per minute uh, preparation is cells mixed with the cryopreservative uh, protectant and then freeze, place in the control uh, rate freezer so slowly the temperature started reducing and once reached to the minus 80 degree centigrade it is immediately transferred to the liquid nitrogen where the temperature of the liquid nitrogen is 196 degree centigrade so it is a widely used uh, technique uh, for the preserving the animal cells uh, and it is also used for the reproductive technology where IVF storing the like you know different uh, cells of uh, male and female gamers and all so this method is suitable the advantage is that uh, it is uh, simple and cost effective and widely used uh, technique the limitation of this particular technique is uh, a precise cooling rate is required otherwise cells will get damaged and there is a possibility of formation of crystals if we are not properly following the protocol and uh, so vitrification is a rapid transfer of the liquid phase directly to glass like solid without forming the ice crystals it is usually achieved by the high concentration of cps so the cps uh, importance is uh, they will eliminate the ice crystal formation the limitation of the cps is high concentrations required which can be toxic and uh, Technically, this is a, like a little complex and uh, cost is involved in that uh, reasons purchase um, control rate storage suitable for various advantages provide uh, expensive equipment is required for this cooling process and uh, technical expertise otherwise the cells will be like damaged and uh, flash freezing rapid cooling uh, that is uh, steps involved is preparation cooling storage uh, simple and quick minimal equipment is required the limitation is the risk of thermal shock the difference in the temperature may cause the shock to the cells which may be like a damaged mm -hmm. sometimes we take the large volumes uh, we may not be in a position to maintain the equal cooling uh, of the entire uh, container so that time unequal cooling may be possible equal vein cooling is the one uh, will be like used uh, last uh, tissue samples we can use this equal vein cooling it will allow will reduce the uh, thermal shock it is an advantage of this over the other method uh, but uh, more complex than uh, the previous method and require precise control and monitoring uh, Stuff is freezing uh, used and uh, reduce the risk of crystal formation. Uh, time consuming require precise temperature control. It is scry protectants. They protect the cells from the damage during the cooling process and uh, and. Uh, the cry protectant limitation is toxicity, and we uh, the concentration reached to optimal above and uh, they are more exposed to the, the cell exposure to this CPS there is a possibility of damage so otherwise the cryopreservation is a vital technology which is allowed long term preservation of the biological materials uh, it depends on the cell tissue and understanding optimum uh, optimizing the various cryogenic treatments we can achieve the achievement efficiently uh, enhance the lifespan and storage and viability of the cell Thank you.